Hello, hello, this is Mystic Moho. And I come to you today with the Divine Feminine Read. So, Divine Feminine, girl, if you didn't want to know, I'm going to tell you, girl. They pretending like they don't care. They don't care that you don't want them back, but deep down inside, girl, they, they feeling that. They feeling that. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We want to know what is the energies that these peoples is feeling that Divine Feminine really has left these peoples alone. Yes, we want to know. Holy Spirit, yes, so these peoples is still in the Knight of Wands energy. They still acting immature. They still using their male or male part, their genitalia to get what they want. So we might be talking about a person here, you know, the male thought yaddy men yaddy thoughts, you know. Them type of men. You know that type of man that act like a Mitch. Y'all don't know what a Mitch is. That's a male bitch. Mm-hmm. Male bitch. And you know, he act like a child sometimes and acts very immature. You know, curry on multi relationships with people. Don't know how to pay bills and things. Don't know how to adult. Always in the energy where he's a damn Toys R Us kid. You know those men that be in the energy where I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. What is the other energies that this person is in? This person is in a King of Cups energy in reverse. And when one is in a King of Cups energy, this person is energy where they don't care who they step on as long as they get what they want. They don't care about nobody else's feelings but they own. They in an in the energy where they is never satisfied. Nothing can make this person happy. This person acts as though everyone owes though them something. How somebody owe your ass up something and you can't even get your ass up and go to work? So what the hell do you think somebody owe you? And this person is a control freak. They like to control others when they have no control of their own damn emotions or themselves. What is the other energy that this simple person is in, Holy Spirit? This person is in a queen of pinnacle energy in reverse. And this person is an opinionated woman. This woman is volatile. This one is a verbal abuser and abuser. And she known to verbal attack people. This one is a shapeshifter. Yes, this one over here says things to get what she wants. Yes, this one here may be a physical attack. That she might the bank crank people upside their head, you know, that, that type of female. This might be a person that might be uh, one that is a shape shifter or is all around fakes. This one here looks and pulls her nose down on people and act like she better than others. Girl, you better sit yourself down. Mm. Mm. This one pulls her nose out on people and looks down on us. Girl, I'm going to need you to sit down. You a comic. How the hell you looking your damn nose down on somebody? You better get yourself together with your comic like waves. Girl, you don't even have the authority to throw your damn, pull your nose down on somebody. Girl, you a comic. Girl, have a seat. Have several. Damn, this world is really becoming a hot mess in a handbasket. Anytime comics is over here throwing their nose up at people. Lord. Mm. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you. Why is these people in a I don't care and in an I don't care in an 
See, they don't even want me to get it out. That's how much of a, a energy where they minding people's business energy. Okay, these people are in a I don't care energy on the outside. However, they still want to be your energy and wondering why you haven't came back yet. There you go. There you go. Yes. Oh, and why is this turned around? These two. Mm. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you in the energies of knowing. We want to know why is these people faking like? Why they faking like? Yeah, why they over there faking like turkey bacon right? Like they don't care about what's going on in divine feminine life, but they, whoa! They wondering to themselves why she leave. Okay. Girl, cause that person that they over there, girl. They over there living with by your hands a hattie. Yes, they over there living with a nasty one over there. You know, one of them nasty women. Those that don't like to clean their house up. Mm -hmm. So he over there suffering in silence. With old bio has a hattie over there that don't clean up her house. The first card that comes out is bio has at home. Yes, this one don't like to clean up. So divine masculine is in his feelings because he done picked him a nasty one. Girl, and he all up in his feelings, girl. Because he thought you was going to be over there crying a the river. Oh, he thought you was going to be over there crying it, darling, dear. Mm. Shame the devil, cause that's what you did, darling dear. You got your shit together. You got you together, darling dear. You ain't over there crying. Yeah, him all up in her him feelings, cause he thought you was going to be all oh, crying, girl. Want him back in things, girl. Yes, girl. Them bad motives that he had on you. Yes, the scheming. Mm. The plotting, the secrets, and all the underhanded planes, darling dear. He thought you was going to be crying, girl. Girl, yeah, he thought you was going to be crying a river, girl. He thought you was going to be all up in your feelings, girl, from his manipulation. He thought you was going to be all up and through your feelings, girl, from his messy uh behaviors girl now he all up in his business because he's looking like the dumb one because everybody's saying you done moved on you with your life and you doing you mm -hmm. meanwhile that comic that one is over there having love affairs mm -hmm. she having one too many over there with peoples and things mm -hmm. The queen of deception. Mm -hmm. The one that throws rocks and hide her hands. It's over there having love affairs with people. And she bringing back STDs with her nasty ass. Mm-hmm. Mm. So we have people over there giving people STDs. People over there lying and cheating. Here's a story about Minnie the Moocha. She's a low down hoochie coochie. She was the roughest, toughest rail. Minnie had some legs that was big as a whale. Comic is a, is a hoe. And she got an ego. Hidey, hidey, hidey ho. She's a cheating, cheating ho. Yes, this one is over here cheating on Divine Masculine. Yes, that one that he left you for. That one have a big ego. Such a big ego. Yeah, she's over there with him. Lil Ray Ray. Johnny and girl even said she was over there with Lil Ray Ray friend. Tommy friend too, girl. She been with them all, girl. 
Mm. But that's who he picked, girl. Mm-hmm. Luck ain't doing too good. Word around town, baby. You lost your dog. Word around town. You want forgiveness from that other girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Because that one he left you for, that calm. me. Her being over there being an insatiable female, this one is never satisfied, baby. She always want more. That's the word on the street. Word on the street is somebody lost their job. Then want forgiveness from that other girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Because that one he over there with is, is, is insatiable. She never satisfied. He feels like he been played by that one. Mm. Got that masculine over there doubting him there self. When in doubt, check it out. That is the energy he in. Check it out. Check it out. When in doubt, you check it out. Yes, girl. He over there checking out them motives of that comic. Yeah, girl. Because he finding our sister over there wearing a false mask. Ooh. And now he feels like he been led astray. Ooh, no, not you, Divine Masculine. Not you. This is why he always in the energy where he say he got put it in the air. He going to drink all the brown and all the white Sunday night Trey wins. Yeah, he gonna put it in the air. He gonna put it in the air. He gonna drink all the brown and all the white. Sunday night, trade wins. Yeah, he gonna put it in the air. He gonna put it in the air. Yeah, this one over here got problems, girl. Mm-hmm. Where in the street is that, uh... That one over there putting a lot of things in the air. Yeah. That girlfriend, that calm, and whoever he want to call that situation ship, that girl. Mm-hmm. Her. She putting him through all situations, girl. That's why he always putting things up in the air. He got to get his mind right. He got to get his lungs up out the street and things. Because, girl, he thinking that's his bae. And she making everybody else her day. But I ain't the one to gossip. So you ain't heard that to me. I ain't the one to gossip and say she be over there playing games with him. This call comes out to playing games. And so the bae over there playing games with Ed's bodies. She over there doing that with Ed's body. Word on the street says she immature. Act like a damn child. Mm-hmm. Always making bad, uh, bad shitty deals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say she's shitty. Weird on the street. But I ain't the one to gossip. They said she immature. Mm-hmm. So I ain't gonna tell nobody. I ain't gonna tell nobody, girl. Always making bad deals. And see, word on the street is that she just angry, just and there's just something ain't right in her head, just can't get right. Been watching too much goddamn life around here, just too much goddamn life. But word on the street says she getting calmer, girl. Mm-hmm. Miss Bonita down the street, girl, you know that lady. They always know everybody business. Mm-hmm. Girl, she said, girl, that went over there receiving calmer, girl. She was over there doing secrets and things, girl. Mm-hmm. So we have the karma call. Miss Bonita said she getting her karma, girl. She was over there doing them secrets and that magic and all the rest of them things. He's the secret call, girl. Yeah. Miss Bonita said, I done told that little girl. She better wake up, girl. Wake up. This is the wake up call. Yeah, girl, because uh, last time I talked to her, she was over there at that hospital, girl. Always with the nasty woman disease. Yeah, girl. Mm-hmm. That's what they say, girl. Yes, yeah, you see, she need to wake up and stop having sex with everybody. 
and stop going to that hospital, girl. They said she always getting them shots, girl, but I ain't even the one to say nothing. I ain't the one to gossip. You ain't heard that from me. Yeah, girl. Mm-hmm. Then they said that other one he was messing with, girl, she done blocked them, done left them alone and things. She over there rejuvenating her energy and all those things. That's what they said. She rejuvenating her energy. Yeah, girl. Meanwhile, he's stuck over there with the crazy bitch. That's what they said. She crazy. I don't know nothing about that girl getting crazy. But this call here says she crazy. This is the psycho call. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to clarify with the mentally challenge. Mm. That what them calls said. Them calls said that comic girl, she psycho. Girl, then it fall, they don't up with the mentally conflicted. Yeah, girl. Said she acting all crazy and things. Said that boy don't want to be bought with her. Said done had enough. That girl crazy. That's always the mood of that comic girl. That boy, that divine masculine him, say him done had enough. Hey, daddy! That crazy bitch out there again? Yeah. I done had enough of that crazy shit, says divine feminine. This bitch is plum damn crazy. This is the crazy call, says Divine Masculine. she never get out of that goddamn psycho Susan mood. That bitch is crazy. She always talking nasty to me. She always talking nasty to me. Just got a sharp ass tongue saying nasty shit that's always hurt my feelings. Oh, okay, that's who you picked her. Mm hmm. Divine Fame Masculine said, Yeah, she got a soft tongue. Always broadcasting my business, telling I got shitty streaks in my drawers. You know, all that personal stuff, that relationship people and shit hey, Yeah, girl. Mm hmm. That motherfucking masculine with his nasty ass don't know how to wipe his ass. I gotta be the motherfucker that clean up his drawers. You're a grown ass man. You need to wipe your ass. Wash your own damn drawers. Damn, that is embarrassing. Stop. And the reason why I'm saying that today because I went to the um I went to the laundromat to go drop my um my confidence and oh my god, this girl said that to her boyfriend. Joe, I ain't even had no cut card in that one because I was dying laughing. She was like, I'm, she was on the phone with her friend, and as soon as her boyfriend left out the door, she was like, I'm sick of this motherfucker. He a grown-ass man scared to wipe his own motherfucking ass. And I mean, she was like, and he was just sitting there. He came back in the door, but he looked, and he listened to, like, what he was saying, and he just looked at her. I was like, oh, my God. I was just shaking my head. Oh, Jesus, I am embarrassed for him. Cause she was like, oh my god, this much. She was on her phone with her friend. She was like, this motherfucker, grown ass motherfucking man, don't even know how to wipe his motherfucking ass. Like he's scared to wipe his ass. Like he's scared of his own ass shit all in his drawers. I'd be embarrassed for a motherfucker to see this shit. And then he came up, and he was like, and she was like, okay, Ann, you heard me, Ann. And I mean, like, everybody just looked at him. Oh, my God. You and your shitty drawers. Lord Jesus, please help him in his shitty drawers. Who focus me and say, please, please. Yes, because I don't have no cuck off who's laughing at you. I will laugh at you. Oh, yes, I will. I am one of them people, and I will go overboard with it. She embarrassed you. Why you getting mad at me? Because I laugh. Hey! Let me stop. I got issues. I know I got issues. It's okay, though. But she said, she said, you act like a grown-ass man that act like you scared to wipe your ass. Lord, gee. Lord, just buy some more underclothes, dude. I wouldn't even, like, want, like, another per. I can see where she coming from. Because I wouldn't even want, like, another person to be just, like, I mean, that's in person. I wouldn't even want nobody to see. Oh, shut up, Mystic. Just shut up. Shut up, Wandy the Joe. That is not your business. 
Yeah, but that is embarrassing though, cause she was loud with she was like in this she was on her for on the phone, she was like in this motherfucker. I like he's scared to wipe his ass. He's scared of his own ass. What kind of shit is that? This a grown ass man. He walked through the door. I was like, Oh Lord, please. That is a hot mess in the hand basket. Please help him. He need help, cause I know he embarrassed. Cause everybody in that damn laundromat started looking at that man. I was like, oh my god! And this was a middle aged man, so I was like, oh my god! This lady is, and this was like people our mother age. So I'm like, that was really embarrassed, cause you, older man, gentleman, you supposed to know to wipe your butt. You just, just you're supposed to know. Yes, that's something that you learn at a young age when you learn how to use the pate. You learn how to wipe your butt. I'm gonna need to shut up. Nah, that was funny as hell. Fuck a shut up. Fuck a shut up. Because I sure was not shutting up and I was loud with it. When she said it, I was like, ah! Yes, and I, my voice do have a tendency to curry. And my son was like, oh my God, mom, you laughing. She said it. Don't get mad at me. He gave me one of them looks like, oh my God, she did not just laugh. Yes, I did. Dude, don't wipe his ass. Yes, don't say nothing around me because I am the type that will embarrass you. Don't do that. Yes, don't be a grown ass man in your middle 40s. And don't wipe your blood. That's what you don't do. Then we won't have this conversation. Anyway, that's not my business. Shut up, missed it. Okay. I got Tess. Because that was really funny. That, yes, people broadcast people business around. You know what I'm saying? This is the sharp tongue. Yes, this one. The one that is sharp tongue and broadcast people business around. Yeah, you ain't got no job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and talk about you and all these things. This is that same one that verbal attacks divine masculine. Now he's really saying, "Yeah, I picked through the one. I picked the wrong one." Now he's seeing through this comic. He, seeing through her BS. He's seeing through the fold. He's saying that he's not the only one. He's saying that she's not important. She's having sex with this man and she's looking at her phone. Yes. 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 Meanwhile, Divine Feminine is loving her new life. Looking over there saying, same shit with you different day divine masculine you still in that childlike energy this is why your ass is still blocked this is why you in an energy where you and your bra is jealous of me this is the jealousy card their jealousy has become toxic divine feminine be careful divine feminine don't be too trusting of this person because you don't want to be bothered with them, Divine Feminine. They are forming a hatred for you, Divine Feminine. This person wants you dead, Divine Feminine. This next card that comes out is the Graveyard Magic. So, you know, someone has bad traits for you. Someone is jealous. Someone is becoming toxic. Be careful. Don't be too trusting. That is a trait of someone around you. Someone around you wants you dead. They wish graveyard magic on you, baby girl. Someone is lurking, hawking, stalking in your business. Because guess what? They see you manifesting, darling dear. They see you have smudged your space and don't want to be bothered with this person. However, this motherfucker got issues. They got bipolar disorder. Something wrong with this M -er. Yes. They are mad at you, baby girl, because your life is going right, baby. They're getting mad at their self because they're constantly being love bombed. They're being mad because they didn't listen to their inner self when they thought they had the better bitch. And because you don't want to be bothered with them, darling, they have grown an obsession for you, darling dear. Meanwhile, that person that they picked is always putting them in an abortion energy, darling dear. 
while you're sitting over there minding your business, sitting on the bench, watching them make a plum damn fool of their self. Why you're being a humble brag, why they just like a, look like a pure dumbass over there. You saying, mm-hmm, told your dumbass to seek therapy, you was stupid. You study wrong, you study long. Told you you was a dumbass, this is why I say fuck you. This is why I'm going to continue to be excellent at work. This is why... I am going to achieve my goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I sat down. Mm, and I wrote it down. And I journaled what I want. I masterminded what I want. And it will come to me in due time. Don't get mad, baby boy, because now you feeling defeated because your ass got caught in your lies. You looking dumb and love sick because you picked a common. Now you want to feel vengeful and tormented and fucked up because you picked wrong. Now you're mad at me. Hmm, baby, get over it. Time heals all wounds. I do not want of your want none of your dirty ass offers. So what? Hurt people, hurt people. That's the energy that you in. So what? You're hurting. You want me to hurt too? That will be a hell no. Because my divine is protected me, and I know you still tripping on me. But I don't want anything to do with you. Says divine feminine. Stay over there with your freaking the sheets whore in the full mattress back community genitalia coming. That's what you stay with. You stay with your spiritual narcissist. That's who you stay with. You stay in isolation because you picked the wrong female. That's who you stay with. Remember, I found out about your secrets. You mad about that. You in denial. I found out about your secrets. You mad about that? You mad, Divine Masculine? You mad I found out about your secrets? You mad that your hoe is over there getting closer with everybody else beside you? But that's who you pick. Remember, you pick that one that's always in the energy where Sex isn't wrong, but you gotta be right. And if you had sex, you better wrap it up tight. Yay! You stay in the energy where your ass is burning. Because you stay in the energy where you think with your ding a lane. That's what you think with. Because you was always put in tantric sex energy where you think with your ding a lane. And you got a sneaky bitch. That's what you get when you think with your ding a ling. You get a stinky bitch. A, a stinky bitch. Yeah, you did get a stinky bitch because she hit you with the one that wank and not the one that stank. But anyway, you get one that shows you manipulation. That's how you got you. She manipulated you. So now you have a warlike mentality like you going to war. No, you should have been that way before your ass got abused. Now you want to call for spiritual healing. Oh, now you want to heal. Oh, it come out. Mm, now you want to heal. Oh, now you want to get yourself together. Mm-hmm. Now you want to continuously stay in the energy where you've forgotten about memories. And you pulling out things that you wish you can go back to. Screw you and your memory, says Divine Feminine. Screw you and your memory, says Divine Feminine. I done dusted myself off from your bullshit. Now you over there with, yeah, that crazy bitch out there again. Now you mad. You got the obsessive lover, you mad. You got the crazy bitch, you salty. Mm Mm-hmm. You got the bitch that's taking all your money. You mad. That ain't my fault. That's the broad you picked. Now you over there living in Regret City. You mad. But 
baby. You can't blame nobody else but yourself for your sneaky behavior. You can't blame that on nobody but yourself, baby boy. Meanwhile, says Divine Feminine, I'm going to stay in my MF and lane. I'm going to stay in my MF and lane. Yes. And I'm going to mind my MF and business. That's what I'm going to do. Meanwhile, you stay all up in your head, baby boy. This is the all up in their head because they know they fucked up. They know you got somebody over there, hell over heels, and want to be ball with you. You know where it's game over to you narcissist, says divine feminine. Your ass need to go seek therapy. You. You burned your bridges with me, darling, then. So you continue to stalk me. Mm -hmm. Continue to try to stay in my business and get proof about me. Because you in bondage because you fucked up and you picked the wrong bitch. Mm -hmm. You in bondage because your ass lied and you got caught in your eyes. Your lies. You mad because you're temperamental because you got a bitch that everybody gets the evil eye because they don't like you or her. You continue to get your evil eye, baby. Because I kicked your monkey ass to the curb. Remember those bad traits you had? I do. I remember that paranoia. Mm-hmm. I remember you wanted me to slip up and be unfaithful just like you. To drive you mad so you can have a reason to leave. Uh-huh. Remember when you wanted to star shit and wanted to fight me all the time because you got caught up with your bitches? Yeah, same shit, different day. Remember, darling, did your schedule change? I knew all about when that schedule changed. It was a new bitch. I knew about that. Mm -hmm. You stupid. You don't know how to cheat. You ain't had no strategy together. Because you was too busy thinking with your dingling to try to put a plan together. You know, this is the no hitting strategy, you happiness hater. Now you see me over there living my life. You see me over there doing me. You see me over there being success and listen to my intuition, which says, don't fuck with him. Something wrong with him. Something wrong with him. Don't trust this MF in person. They ass is broken in a bag of glass in the trash. They can't keep they dingling in they pants. Always putting people in third parties and entanglements. They're a delusional liar because they thought that I wasn't going to pick up uh, onto their bullshit. And they thought that the grass was greener on the other side and it's not. They're receiving their past karma for fucking me over. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here living my best life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you stuck with that crazy bitch with wolf with sheep's clothing. And I'm going to say, if you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe.